Hey gamers, it's time that we play some Undertale Last Corridor. So starting off, we're actually going to be fighting good old Dusttail. I will move on to probably multiplayer after some Dusttail fights. I just like to say that nothing hit me and I still took damage. Like I had video evidence there that I was not hit. There we go. This tail is about two thirds left. Nearly half. Just a tad more, and they'll be half. Should I just make a video of dust tail runs? I might. It's been a while since I've tried to run Dustail. It's mostly because this fight isn't very enjoyable after doing it a couple hundred times. Nine hundred and eleven. Okay. I got them that means nine hits from death, which means I hit them twelve times. Let's go for another. Now I'll probably do a bunch and then, or some quantity, and then I'll probably put something in the background for me to listen to and just kind of focus on playing the game with no audio. Now I do want to have a fair amount of recorded audio for this early segment. Hmm, that was neat. Oh. I don't think Dusttail wanted to fight me that time. Looks like they're more agreeable now. They're actually letting me slightly approach them. Yeah, these blasters perfectly aiming themselves in a way where I can't advance without getting hit. They're, uh, I think the scientific term is really annoying. See, like that. If I advanced there, I would have died on the spot. Okay, that's what I would call an unavoidable attack. Now this is a test fight, so... It's not surprising there are going to be issues. What I am surprised about is most of the community, or I don't know, I shouldn't say most community, that there are people in the community who would actually say this fight shouldn't be more balanced. Which really confuses me, especially because the devs aren't going... <laughs> There's no way the devs aren't going to make changes eventually. I mean, they're either probably going to scrap this whole fight, or keep it and make some changes. That's probably what's going to happen, assuming they update it anyway. I guess people are always going to have an opinion. I, I was just surprised that people actually support having unbalanced fight that has literal unavoidable deaths. One thing I should try doing, and I, I'm not sure if I'll actually remember to, is attacking before I'm actually in front of dust. If I do that, I can actually attack again sooner. And I think using that, I might be able to get a couple extra attacks in and get much closer in some of my runs. See there, I forgot to do it unfortunately. Oh. That's a bad roll.
real good thing I didn't choose to approach there. Unfortunately, Dust pushed me in there. Oh, that was a bad slash. I actually missed that one entirely. See, those blasters, if I had approached in those precise moments, I would have just died on the spot. Maybe if I beat this fight, I can convince the remaining quantity of people. Eh, that blaster just got me. I, I couldn't think of a way to avoid it, regardless of which way I wanted to go. Ooh, that was a lag spike. Oh, that lag. <gasps> you saw how close I got. And the force got me. Alright, 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 alright. Oh no. So that's actually an example, I would say, of a run where... Because... Okay, no, that didn't hit me at all. Don't even try to say that hit me. Okay, I'm gonna scrap that one. I was getting a lot of bad rolls. You saw how many bone spins I was getting. And a bone spin's always a bad roll. That's like an objective bad roll. Well, a bone zone is, again, the optimal roll. You can't get a better roll than a bone zone. Even the most luckily aimed Gaster Blaster pales in comparison to a Bone Zone. Now, I feel like the beginning of Dust Tales theme could actually pass as a Death by Glamour remix. Like, listen to this. Any second now. This. Please. Just wait a moment. Just wait a moment. Oh no! Please, game, I don't want to die, so I would really appreciate it if you didn't kill me. I'm really not asking too much of you, I just want to beat this game. So come on, please. Oh, I walked into that one. I mean, hey, I'm getting the three quarters damage way more often. Previously, I was only getting them about half each time. Helps I'm scrapping runs that have no chance of success. Having a little bit of damage at the start isn't too bad, because you can recover enough. Damage is mostly an insta-kill anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If you're getting chipped away a lot, you're probably already dead, right? 
doesn't mean you want to take that damage, but in cases like that, you're kind of just unlucky. Now, if I take damage for even reaching dust, that's an instant restart. Because I do... Yeah, see stuff like that? I'm curious, do any of you watching this video feel like that despite the fact that this fight is objectively not balanced, that it should remain this way? I will say a lot of elements of the difficulty here are pretty good. Like, the, 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 whenever something is dodgeable, it's pretty, I guess, good, or balanced, fun, interactive. What I don't enjoy is when I successfully dodge an attack and force throws me in, or a bone spin blaster combo basically corner me so that the final blaster is going to just kill me. One of my strategies is, again, uh, similar to what I was doing with the Chara fight, not walking up directly to dust. Unless, of course, I'm just real close. The idea being that because the center bone is always going to be roughly on top of dust, I can't actually walk directly to them if I want to hit them. See that? I managed to weave around the bones perfectly, and then it was all rendered irrelevant because the blaster chose to spawn the one place where it could hit me there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Look at all those times where if I just approached dust, I would have died on the spot. I almost, I, I can't, is the fight, I was programmed to do that? Or is that just an after effect of, um, okay, see that? That's why every time you get a bone spin, it's a bad roll. Getting consecutive bone spins is a game over, essentially, because if you keep getting them, you're just going to die. See? Look at that. I have... Okay, let's say the blaster can spawn diagonally from each angle in front and behind you. Let's say those are the only results. That means there are eight results in a blaster, meaning you would have a one in eight chance of that happening. In my last, like, three or four runs, I've gotten that. Now, that might sound pretty improbable until you realize that if that... Again, if it actually is a one in eight, and there are even more possibilities... There would be the fact that every single blaster has that probability, and also every single blaster has the probability of the force pushing you into it, on top of every blaster having the probability to come with a bone spin. Once you add all of those factors into a single blaster's chance to instantly kill you, and that's why, also they last way too long. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm really salty that people want this fight not to get nerfed even slightly. Some of the nerfs I was suggesting, I, I can actually get into them in this video. I'm, I, I, I think I got into them in that video where I lost my audio. I want to make really small nerfs just so their quality of life changes essentially. Stuff like making the blasters fire a tad later. And then making it impossible for the bone spin to happen seven times in a row. That, that, that's one that actually really it has me confused. Wait, you're saying that you want to preserve an, the bone spin happening seven times in a row? Again, this isn't the developers. The developers... Haven't actually said much in regards to what they're going to do with this fight, so I'm kind of assuming they'll even update single player. They might never touch single player ever again. 
but I kind of hope that they update single player. Eh, okay, I took a bone hit. At least it wasn't a blaster hit. Okay. Two thirds uh, left. And I keep wanting to move closer, and then a blaster is just kind of like, hey, howdy. See? That blaster. I, I had to not try to win. If I had just a little more time before they fired, it wouldn't be so, so lethal. Especially because that would also take from their overall duration, which would mean they would be blocking me off for less time. Because, you know... See that? That's one big reason why I don't like the bone spin. The thing that really just gets on my nerves is the unavoidable ones. The ones where I mess up, yeah, those are great. I'm upset that I messed up, but let's see here. And if you, I, I'm sure you already know by now, but this is basically just going to be audio consisting of me complaining while also maybe putting together some actual rational thought. Don't worry, I'll, I'll limit my complaining about this fight to whenever someone brings it up as a topic of discussion if I beat it. I'll still want this fight to get nerfed if I beat it. It's just, I won't have to fight it in my personal opinion as much. Because I feel like I'm obligated to try to beat this because I want to have that badge. But you're going to tell me I can't have the badge if I don't beat this? Then I have to have, I have to beat this so I can get the badge. Nope, 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 nope. Get a drink of water. I want you all to know that this is complete and utter suffering right now. I feel like I'm actually doing well. I see myself do a bunch of what I would call great plays and great judgment calls. And then that happens. Could we make it so that you can't take 92 damage, aka 100% of your maximum health, when you're under the effects of force? I think that was actually a suggestion I made a while back. I suggested, hey, can we make it so that no single attack can just one-shot you? Because... It's kind of not fun if you make a single mistake and then that one mistake results in you taking all of your health as damage. Again, I want this game to be a skill based game. This also goes for multiplayer. But seriously, it's not fun if you have to play perfectly and first to mess up loses, except Sans can afford to mess up. That was a bigger issue back when. Sans was top tier, and Chara wasn't. Oh, I'm starting with damage. Yeah, but you see, those bone spins, if you just get multiple ones, you lose on this spot. It's to the point where if you get three bone spins in a row, I don't know why you don't just immediately die, rather than waiting for them to finish you off. I guarantee, if you gave me 180 health, I would lose tons of these runs before I'd finally win. I would certainly win with 180. I mean, you saw how close some of my runs were. But I would lose so many times, despite the fact that I would have a ton of health. Hmm. 
Okay. Give me a moment. Alright, we're back. Back and ready to try to actually win. Slash. That slash shouldn't work. Slash. 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 Oh my gosh, dust just perish. Oh, I'm dead. That's nice. I've been going on for 20 minutes now. I'm not even going to look at him. I'm considering slapping on some of that force or shift lock. I know I've died more than 20 times to force force just throwing me into something kind of driving me completely insane Nope, just just do it. In order for me to beat this, I need to have the perfect run. If I keep trying over and over, eventually I'll get the perfect run. But no matter how badly I play, I just somehow win. I can give you advice on this fight, and my advice might even help you. But it's so random on whether strategies will actually work or not that I could not guarantee that my strategies could even help after you practiced. At most, they'd be like recognizing a single situation out of potentially a hundred or a thousand situations. And some of those situations you can't solve, which means the most you can do is memorize when you've gotten hit, just before it actually happens. Nearly half, one more should do it. All right, let's get right back into this. Again, eventually I'll win just because I'll get perfect RNG. I'm pretty sure it's more likely that I'll get perfect RNG eventually than I will never get good RNG. Of course, it's still statistically possible that I could just never get good RNG. Just keep giving me bone zones whenever you can, game.
that was an actual I would say any run where I get deaths to 25% or less uh, I want a good name good name for that run well considering we're talking a lot about RNG we can compare those to, like lottery tickets and just call it a lottery ticket run or a lottery run Eh. Eh. Eh, okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Please, please, I don't like this. Please, just, just, just wait a moment. Just wait a moment. Just wait a moment, sir. Alright, 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 alright. This is Sky. You see, I have a knife, right? I'm gonna use this knife and get this. I'm gonna put it inside of him in a way that some people would call stabbing. Yeah, I'll just push it inside of him. I'm going to insert the knife into his skin. Isn't that wonderful? There's no way that this is going to be a lottery run. A jackpot run. Boom. Jackpot. There's no way that was going to be a jackpot run. Okay, now a jackpot run is one that's successful. A lottery ticket run is one that I get them to 25%. Again, I hate every time I get a blaster where I narrowly avoid death by walking away from the person I'm trying to kill. I'm telling you, the blasters aim in a way where I'm. it feels almost like they were designed to not allow you to approach. And I can't tell if that's the case or if it's just poor RNG. I'm getting terrible dodges on those early attacks. We're going to do another. Eh. Seriously though, those blasters deal so much. The reason this fight's so difficult is like... Th this is like me facing myself back when Dust was at their prime. In a 1v1. How, how are you gonna beat the Dust? Go ahead, try to beat the Dust. Just keep in mind that if the dust plays imperfectly, they can still play just well enough to beat you. We're getting some bone zone rolls, and that's good. The more bone zones, the better. Unfortunately, I messed up. I wish I could say that was bad RNG, but it was bad RNG and my own horrendous mistake. Okay, that was a good hit. Yeah, hit me with those bone zones, come on.
This is definitely a losing ticket right here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do the world's first blind dust tail fight. Here we go. Oh, yeah, dust, here I come. Alright, I must have beaten dust already. That was pretty impressive. I feel like I probably just ran into a wall. And then that's kind of just how I died. Wow, see that type blaster is what you don't want. Seriously though, I could probably just put on a blindfold and hold W for this first segment. Because if you get to dust safely, if you don't, you give up the run immediately. And even then, having full health isn't actually much benefit unless you're actually getting lucky. You have to be lucky to utilize your luck. Isn't that weird? You have to be lucky to have your luck matter. One bit of bad luck is enough to destroy overwhelming good luck. I can get nothing but bone zones for the entire fight. One gaster blaster could throw that away. That wonderful, horribly improbable scenario. All right, a couple more runs, and then my stamina for uh, my endurance for facing games that are driving me completely insane it's gonna run out all right I've been discussing balance with people and now I'm ready to go back to trying to beat dust in vain the results of my discussion have made me realize if Charas and Knife Wall out of both ends of the hall, that'd actually be pretty cool. I'm not sure if it'd be strong, unless maybe they sent two out of both ends. But just sending one out of both ends, again, yeah, would be pretty cool because you would actually have that one extra factor to keep track of. If I didn't take all that damage, I would be doing really well right now. That doesn't mean I'm necessarily doing abysmally. After all, dust was at nearly half. <sighs> I, I just... This fight lost its fun for me ages ago. I feel like I'm just someone playing Mario Kart, trying to get that triple flip combo thingy. That way they can get the world record. I think it took him a couple thousand attempts, right? Insane amount. Maybe he's in 20,000. It's been ages since I saw that runner. Oh, I thought that was going to vanish. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Oh. Dust 
I'm gonna stab you. There's nothing you can physically do to stop me, a child. Okay, seriously, Dust. We need to talk about this whole winning thing. Have you looked into not doing that? You see, winning continuously can be pretty stressful. Maybe you should, you know, not win for once against me. Just to see what it'd be like, you know? Okay, I took a short break. Let's put in some more runs. Like, despite the fact that I'm not really enjoying this fight too much, I really, really do want to beat it. I just noticed that their bones are very similar to the color of their jacket, which makes it easy for their bones to blend in with their jacket. And I'm just, I don't know what to say at this point. I'm running up, I'm stabbing him directly. It's not like I'm not doing a noticeable amount of damage. It's the fact that they deal way more. Alright, Sans, I need you to perish already. Yeah, remember when I was doing well in that particular run, and then two bone spins appeared out of nowhere, and then made it impossible for me to win? Oh, I'm doing the wrong fight. I accidentally knocked on the wrong door.
Like I'm trying my best, but then I get bone spin. I play as perfectly as I know how to, and then bone spin happens. So I lost that match. That round. That attempt. That ticket. Don't worry, your next attempt, Sans might not use Bone Spin even once. You might get perfect Blaster RNG, and then still die because you just get a random force. Because anything less than perfect RNG makes it incredibly easy for one bad roll to kill you. So just keep trying until you manage to get absolutely positively perfect rolls. This fight isn't a matter of skill, it's a matter of trying again. And I've been trying again for hours. I haven't uploaded all my attempts to this channel. So I can tell you, I've been trying again and trying again. Waiting for the round where I'm handed the win on a silver platter. Dang, dang, one more attempt and then I'm done. Alright, that was my final attempt. I hope you all enjoyed, because eventually I'll hopefully beat this fight. And also, I'll see you all next time.